big year for you. I mean, you have your first comic book coming out, right? Yes, right, Count, Count Crowley, Reluctant <laughs> Midnight Monster Hunter. I'm still finding fun ways that I can say that. Count Crowley, <laughs> Reluctant Midnight Monster Hunter. That's good. Coming to comic book shelves October 23rd. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's a dream for me. Uh, I'm um, a full grown adult now, but <laughs> I am and will always be 12 inside. And the kid that read horror comics, I mean, I loved all, all comics. I was a big Marvel, big DC collector as a kid, but I was very into horror comics. I saw the movie The Lost Boys when I was a little kid, and there was something about getting their mythology from horror comics and learning about monsters through horror comics that just meant so much to me. So I um, am now, with Dark Horse, getting to publish Count Crowley, and this is a character that I have been thinking about and dreaming about since I was a kid. I grew up in Kansas City, I bought my comics at Clint's Comics in Kansas, and I watched Cremation Mortem's Friday Night Creature Feature, and um, Cremation Mortem was our local horror host, okay. and I was her biggest fan. <laughs> and um, since then, I always thought it would be so neat if there was a superhero that was also a horror host, if that was their cover, if that was their, instead of being a news reporter, instead of being a tycoon, instead of all the different things that, you know, the all, alter egos of superheroes, if they were a horror host. And, um, and that was the seed. And then I became a grown-up. And, you know, I started dealing with all different uh, grown-up issues. And I live in a society that right now feels fraught with monsters. And so I wanted to find a way that I could take my love of monsters and classic monsters and horror hosts and interject that into the things that I'm kind of wrestling with, struggling with. Having a, I'm having a difficult time right now in 2019, honestly, every time I turn on the news, not being like, how is no one else seeing some of these things that are happening? And I think what's really interesting with the world and the mythology of Count Crowley is that Jerry sees monsters, but she, even though her, her instincts are to, to report on them and to tell people, she, people won't listen. So she has to find another way to fight. And the battles and the, the journey of Count Crowley, Jerry's battles within, mm -hmm. and then the battles without. Yeah. So her battles within, she's an alcoholic. She struggles with addiction. She has the inability to get close to people. So she can't have interpersonal relationships. She's broken all bounds of trust, et cetera, with her family. And um, so it's about learning how to fight that battle within and how to stop sabotaging herself and how to take care of herself if she's gonna be the Jerry that we know she could be. Mm -hmm. Her dream, her passion, her, her gift is for investigative journalism, but she has sabotaged that because of her alcoholism and her self-sabotaging. So now, as a creature feature horror host, which she's so embarrassed to have to be, <laughs> she's actually going to have to use her investigative skills and her, her passion for journalism to learn the truth about monsters. Monsters have infiltrated our society in the world of Count Crowley. Okay. And they have been spinning fake news out into <laughs> our society. She lives in a, in, a, in, a, in a society not unlike our own where um, a woman's voice and um, opinion isn't taken as seriously as it should be. And when something bad happens to her at the hands of a very powerful man, in the real human world, no one believes her. And that really crushes her, and it leaves her feeling very alone. And so some of the monsters in the world of Count Crowley aren't werewolves, aren't vampires, aren't zombies, aren't witches. They're just human beings. And there are some very powerful people in the world of Crowley who use that power for bad instead of for good. So hopefully the hero can rise up and conquer. I've been writing and thinking about this character for decades. When Dark Horse, the editor at Dark Horse, Megan Walker, paired me with our artist, Lucas Kettner, and Lucas sent his first portrait of Jerry Bartman, Count Crowley, I got tears in my eyes and I went, I'm looking for the first time at something I've been imagining for 30 years. It's a very bizarre feeling. It's yeah. an incredible feeling. <laughs>